Social media is really a game changer in politics. After all, how could a man with the smallest campaign budget be leading the GOP race? That man is, of course, Donald Trump with 7.4 million Twitter followers, more than 6.8 million likes on Facebook. The Donald has garnered at least $383 million in free publicity. The Donald even attracting outside exposure, like this social media account now going viral, hashtag babes for Trump. Have you seen it? No. Oh my gosh, Is you it gotta outrageous? see it. Yeah, it's basically like, uh, you'll see it. <laughs> I don't know if I should describe it. <laughs> Half naked girls. <laughs> but not everyone's a fan. Retweet. I sometimes get him in trouble. So just, I say, stay away from, uh, you know, stay away from uh, retweets. And <laughs> does say that. That was funny. <laughs> That's Melania Trump on Hannity offering some advice to her husband, and she may be onto something. Social media expert Ken Wisniewski tells me that while Donald Trump may be attracting a lot of attention on the internet, those followers don't exactly translate to voters. Whether you're voting for Trump, not voting for Trump, he's made himself very relevant. And I think a lot of people that probably follow him aren't necessarily people that plan on voting for him, but ultimately the fact that he's making very, uh, very pointed statements via his Twitter account has people watching. So while the amount of likes on Facebook may not predict the outcome of the election, it can definitely tell us the shortfalls of some of these candidates. And Wisniewski says those negatives are most apparent in Bernie Sanders' campaign. And while his numbers are not horrible by any means, clearly he hasn't utilized it as much as you know some of you know say a Trump or a Hillary has. Now, social media really isn't anything new to this political season. We've seen President uh, Barack Obama winning two elections with that strategy, really the grassroots campaign of energizing voters on Twitter uh, and other social media platforms. Let's not forget Trump's been on the All New York team for like 35 years. I mean, people right. have known him around here, plus The Apprentice for how long? And his profile was yes. actually quite good going into the race. Trump works his own cell phone. He's never been afraid to say what he's gonna say. He's not gonna count on anyone else to do it. The only other candidate with his profile at all, at all is Hillary and she was first lady for eight years and secretary of state so yeah. he came in with an advantage she doesn't have babes for Hillary though well. Hey, well.